taking my time to get perfection sometimes. You got me feeling so weightless. Top of line, I'll be taking my time to get perfection sometimes. I need to just take a ride away. Good day, good day, people. Today, we're on the bike. As you can tell, we have strip loads of it. Wonder tanks out, all the wiring's off. Most of it's all stripped from the back end now. So, I'm gonna chop the back end off. Let me swing you around, show you where I'm gonna cut it. So, I'm actually thinking of keeping the cover, the cover the top bolt. So I'm actually looking at cutting it just at the top here, top of the cover, right here, both sides. Uh, I'm going to cut it there to start with, see what it looks like. If I don't like it, I can always take cover off, cut it down lower. But I am thinking of keeping the cover on, as I'm looking at putting some ammo boxes on the side and that. So it'll cover the knot and that, make it look a bit tidier. Right, so why I've been stripping it and that, Wondering why ain't I getting compression at the front? Well, not enough. So I put the spark plug back in. Noticed when I tighten it down, I had a look through the fins and that, and I've noticed is the spark plug ain't sitting flush. It's not like sealed. So I think I'm actually losing some of the compression through the spark plug. So let's like see. It's screwing in. All right, just not sitting flush down. The back one is, but the front one ain't. So what I've done is I've gone and brought a spark plug thread repair kit. Might not be that, might just be me, but I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna put a new thread in it, new spot. Well, then see if the spark plug will fasten and sit flush down. Uh, so, might be that, might not be. Like I say, as you look through the fins, it's not seeming to sit flush right down. So I reckon I am losing some out of there. So, that's the plan for today. I'm gonna cut out new thread, put the new thread in, and see if that sorts the problem out. Then I'll do another compression test, and see if that sorted it. So, let's get on with it. Oh, I've got it cutting in so far. Uh, well about eight nine turns in so far bit of a pain to get started trying to get it level as well going in cutting oh, just be dead slow patient just keep getting it don't forget to grease the end so it collects all the little bits of alley you're cutting like I say you just have to take your time Put pressure down on it and slowly cut it away. I have to say it is a bit of a pain, but I'll get this done and I'll be back. So as you can see it's been cutting it. It's all the bits. All I've done is put a bit of grease on before I started. So it collects most of it. Uh, just gonna clean this off, put a bit more grease on it, just run it through by hand, make sure the thread's nice and clean. Then we'll put the new thread in. So, as you can hear, it's absolutely hammering it down outside. So, I broke all the way through, just keep going. I say, I just kept tying it in. And all of a sudden it'll go easy. That was a thread through easy. You know you broke the whole way through. Uh, make sure your piston ain't at the top. Make sure it's down at the bottom before you even start it. Should have said that at the beginning. But well, just remember to tell you. So make sure your piston is down and not near the top. So when you break through, you don't eat your piston. Uh, so I've broke through now. So all I'm going to do is run, run the back through. Make sure it's nice and easy, and I'll clean it all out. Uh, gonna have to sneak out the missus' vacuum, try and make some extra, try and suck most of all the crap out from inside. 
uh, try and get most of it all out then I'll put the new thread in so I just run through the tap again I'll re-grease it and run the tap back through make sure it's nice and clean the thread then we'll get the vacuum out so all I'm doing is running, keep running it through just to get all the loose bits of only out see it's getting better so I'll run it through a couple of more times what I'm doing is by hand now just do it by hand all the way in all the way out just try and get most of all this loose stuff off make sure it's nice and clean ready to put the new thread in so there we go all cleaned out use Mrs. vacuum take it to be a pipe on Ta -da! check that bubble yeah take that on just so I can get down sucking the holes uh, I did open the cover up and just turn it by hand 15 mil socket turn it by hand just to bring the piston up and down just to have a look inside make sure I've got most of all the crap all of the alley and that but yeah and while I've done the front I did the back as well took the spark plug out the back clean that and guess what as I was on the way in, oh, that's it, break the missus vacuum. Spark plug bloke. Just done doing it. Boom, spark plug's broke. God damn thing! So, they told us, oh, I'm already running some new spark plugs anyway, so, yeah. So, time to put the new thread in. Let's get on with it. So, what you do is get your spark plug, get your new thread, you see the lip on the top here, that goes at the top, so fasten that onto your spark plug, well first things first is your thread comes in all different sizes, as you see there, or different lengths, just match up the thread with the length your spark plug so you know which one it is like I say the lip there that goes to the top so you want to screw that on like that screw some I'm using a bit of Loctite it's best to use red but I've only got blue so blue's going to have to do and you just want to get it on the thread on the new thread So, come on. And it don't want to come out. Come on. If I open it, I guess. Yeah, so put some locked eye around. Oh, not that much. Come out pretty quick. So, yeah, I think I put a bit too much on there. I'll wipe a bit off, I think. You know what you do? Screw that in the head, leave it, then unscrew your spark plug, and that should hold in your cylinder head. Fingers crossed. Let's try it out. So there we go. New thread is in. And if you're going to be able to see that, well, the new thread is in there. Can you see it? So all I've done is tighten the spark plug up. Uh, give it a quick nick. So it nicked. Then just quit undid it. 
If you gave it a quick jolt to undo it, undid it, the thread stayed in there. So yeah, bonus. Looks like it's seating nicely as well. So I'll leave that to dry. Leave the lock tire to dry on it for a couple of days. Now I think I'll do a compression test. So now that's that done. Hopefully I might get a better compression out of it now. I say it's done now, new threading. Might have just been me, but when I look through the fins and that, the spark plug just didn't seem to be sitting properly. There seemed to be what off a milk gap around the bottom. I tried cleaning it to see if it was dirt underneath, but I still wanted to go a little more and I just didn't dare go a little bit tighter. Uh, so for, I think it was 10, 12 quid for a new thread and the tool. I might as well do it just to make sure. Uh, yeah, so that's that done. Like I say, take your time with it. So anyway, take your time. Don't rush it. If you really don't want to nap this up. So that's why I didn't video most of it because the camera is in the way of me actually trying to turn the socket and that and I didn't want to mess it up. There is a uh, other YouTube videos showing you how to do it and that but it is pretty simple. You just gotta take your time, be careful that you don't knack knacker it up. So I am gonna leave it there for today. I, my plan was to get that back end cut but that's gonna be next week's now that thread's done I'm hoping that's gonna solve the front compression problem. Like I say, the spark plug went sitting right, it just didn't look right. But I'll test it in a couple of days, I'll just come out, run the compression on it, just to make sure I've got to rig a few more things back up to get it to turn over anyway, as I've stripped it. But I want to make sure, you know what I mean? Make sure I've got compression before I rip the engine out. If I do have compression there, there's no point in ripping it out, so we'll soon see. So, I'll leave it there for today. It's just a quick vid. I'll see you next time. Stay safe.